Hey, 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 this means that you. What's up? What's up? This is your truly C. Anthony, a.k.a. Mr. Outstanding. I trust you living in excellent peace, joy, happiness, prosperity, health, wealth, and abundance. To you, 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 and yes, you, and God knows who. What's up? What's up? I trust you had a great weekend. I want to welcome all my reviewers. Welcome all my reviewers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's yours truly, C. Anthony, man. T minus 54. 54 days left for the year. And what is it? Eve, the eve of, uh, eve of election night? Eve of election. You better go vote. Exercise your rights. Don't be lazy. Don't make no excuses. Go out there and exercise your rights. Make sure you review everything because your vote is important, guys. Your vote is important. Based on your community, your areas, your, you have a big saying. I wish I could vote. I'm not a citizen. I'm an immigrant. But hey, do 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 me that favor as well as for the next generation. So anyway, T-minus 54 days. My name is C. Anthony. And I want to welcome you, welcome, welcome you. Hey, I want you to share these uh, links with other folks. Comment, share. Okay, also send me emails on anything that we speak about. Anything that we talk about, these, these uh, tools, strategies, insights that I share with you over the next uh, 54 days. I started a 90-day run, and I do this to, to pretty much for myself. I do this for myself, but I share. I'm a Christ-like leader. I'm a 54-year entrepreneur, and, and this T-minus 54 days, what I want to talk today about is, just came out of a meeting uh, with some young entrepreneurs here in, in, a, in a place called Oakland, California. Uh, uh, called the uh, the uh, the uh, the Oakland Professionals, man, and they they're looking to do some big things. I mean, making some big changes in the in the uh, in the city of Oakland. They want to make some major changes, big things. And these are young entrepreneurs, young ent aspiring entrepreneurs. The thing about this uh, this meeting that I sat down in, none of these entrepreneurs got money. They ain't got no money. But you know what they got? They got heart, man. They got they got they got vision. They got focus. They got drive. They got passion. Okay, because the money, the money, the money will follow. Money don't lead, money follows. So anyway, that was inspiring for me to sit with these folks. I mean, I've just been putting myself in the right areas, in, in building new circles, and also gearing down to it and closing off the year with a bang to fulfilling five goals, five dreams for the year 2016. So let's do it together. So a young lady asked me uh, out there, and uh, it was a very unique uh, situation how they asked uh, uh, questions and whatnot. And I was able to uh, be uh, somewhat like a keynote. I like doing keynotes. I hope you guys have any fruit. It's a quick lunch for me and your water. Anyway, the question came up is about doubt when it comes to entrepreneurs. Dealing with doubt. Okay, how do you deal with doubt? Anybody dealing with doubt? I can't see who's on. I know this swipe left, right to reveal reaction. Swipe left or right. I notice I'm not seeing you guys any longer on my swipes. Maybe I'm not doing something right. Right? I'm not doing something right. Anyway. Eventually. No, let's turn that around. Anyway. Good. So, anyway, the question was, and I'm sorry, I can't see you guys to comment or anything. I'm not sure what's going on here. But the question came to me, it was the action, how does entrepreneurs deal with doubt? Okay, because I can remember these guys are entrepreneurs. They have no money, but they got big dreams, big aspirations. And the mere part that they're collaborating, that's what I told them. That's the key, man. The mere part of mastermind. Mastermind is very important. The inner circle. And got to have the money. A lot of multimillionaires and billionaires had no money when they got started. Anyway, uh, uh, doubt. Doubt. So let's deal with doubt. Because there's three major areas that, that we struggle with as entrepreneurs or in life. And doubt is one of them. And say, so how you deal with doubt, man? You know, well, how you deal with doubt? Well, how, how do you entrepreneurs deal with doubt? Because when you're in doubt, hey, you're in trouble. So let's talk about doubt here. Because the next 54 days, you got to make sure you get that doubt out of the way, preparing for 2017. Okay? We got to fulfill five dreams of yours. So we got to get the doubt out of the way. And one thing I've learned, I, I dealt with a lot of doubt, especially this year. And doubt comes in from the mind. Doubt comes in from in being an in inefficient seat. Doubt comes from getting, getting, getting let down. Doubt comes from getting beat up. Doubt comes from life. Doubt comes from a uh, 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 lack of belief. You don't believe anymore. Uh, doubt comes in right there. He's not energized. Doubt is negative, but doubt is a mindset. Okay, and if you let doubt creep in, doubt small comes in small increments, and once you don't you don't uh, address it, it starts to grow and grow, grow. Next thing you know, it takes over everything. I've been there. And doubt allowed me to make a lot of have a lot of failures 
but to overcome doubt, uh, to overcome doubt is very, 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 very simple. What I saw is that you just gotta face your doubt. So the first thing in, 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 in dealing with doubt is you gotta believe in yourself. You wanna eliminate doubt, believe in you. There's nobody else you can believe in than, than you. The Most High dwells in this temple. If we're creating the image and likeness of the Most High, then He's the creator and you're the co-creator. That means you should have all belief inside of you. Uh, 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 so if you have in doubt, that means uh, doubt and the word can't. They, they're lovers, doubt and can't. When somebody says can't, that's doubt. How do we, so how, how are we gonna get rid of that, 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 that I can't? Say I can. We may say it's easier said than done. Well, you said I can't. That's easier. You can say I can too. You see, the can't gives in the why and not sure, but the, the can brings in the how. We need the how. All of us need the how. All you gotta do is get ask a mentor and be coachable. So doubt, we gotta kick doubt in the face, man. We gotta kick doubt where it hurts, okay? We gotta face doubt. We gotta face doubt and do whatever it takes. I have some doubts, I have to face it. You face your doubts. You release your doubts. You know, if you got some doubts, write on a piece of paper, then burn it. <laughs> write on a piece of paper, then throw it in the garbage. Write on a piece of paper all your doubts and then step on it. How about that? Whatever, because it's a psychological thing. Also, listening to other people, telling them that you can't do something, you know. I have, remember hearing a lot of people say, well, I'm gonna do this, I'm, you can't do that. That's doubt they just gave you. If you're now keeping it internalized that, it's gonna grow inside of you. Belief. So we gotta stand up to our doubt. We gotta face our doubt, we gotta release the doubt, okay? We have to express courage. You wanna get over doubt, we gotta express courage. I have to express courage, man. I have to go for it, and go for it, and go for it. Courageous, being courageous. In dealing with doubt, you gotta get the how. How to deal with the situation you're having. How, how. If you don't have the how, get somebody to help you with it. We don't always have the answer. That's why we need to work together. That's why I'm so happy I was invited to, to meet with these young, these young aspiring entrepreneurs. Next five, 10 years, these guys are gonna run the area, right? How, you gotta get the how. And another thing for other folks, uh, one way to we can get rid of the doubt is to be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself is, will, will definitely eliminate doubts in whatever you're doing. Be kind to yourself. Speak to yourself the way you speak to somebody else. If your kid came to you with some doubts, how would you speak to that, part, to that kid? I had to ask myself that, those questions. If my son or my daughter or my granddaughter came to me or my nephew came to me and with some doubts that they had, how would I speak to them? That's the same way we had to speak to ourselves. I think we'd be hard on ourselves. We don't speak to ourselves in a kind, loving way. We gotta start learning to speak to ourselves in a kind, loving way. Would you agree? Yes. Ask yourself these great questions that like you'll ask somebody else that you care about. Okay? At the beginning, this is all gonna, this is expect to, expect to suck at the beginning. At the beginning of anything, you're always gonna be, you're gonna suck. At the beginning of entrepreneurship, at the beginning of a new class, at the beginning of a uh, uh, mentorship, at the beginning of trying out something new, at the beginning of a sport, at the beginning of a new business. You're gonna suck at the beginning. And we expect to just win. Uh, you're gonna suck at anything you're doing at the beginning. You're gonna suck. Cause you're not good. At first. If you continue, if you persist. So this is what I want us to do on T minus 54 days. I, I figure that these are two of the areas to face in doubt. These are the two areas, these are the two principles I'm gonna use for this rest of this week and I'm gonna start mixing them up. Excitement and persistent. Excitement and persistent. Yellow and purple, yellow and purple, yellow and purple, yellow and purple, purple, yellow, purple, yellow. Excitement and persistency. How about using excitement and persistency in the next 54 days and dealing with your doubt? Hey, send me an email at canthony at canthonyharris.com. That's canthony at canthonyharris.com. The first five emails I get from you guys, I wanna know what, you, what doubt you want us to deal with. What doubt you gonna deal with to get rid of the next 54 days? I'm gonna send you a gift. I'm gonna send you an affirmation ban. I'm gonna send you the persistent affirmation ban, being persistent to going at it. Or I'm even send you an excitement ban, the, the yellow. So you can be persistent and excitement. Because excitement is knowing that you got that confidence. You see, once you're facing your, your doubt, you're gonna build competent and confidence. And confidence and competence wipes out doubt. Yes! 
Man, to be your best, must do your best, do your best, must be your best. It's 54 days left. Share this with other folks. Drop me, a, drop me an email at CAnthony at CAnthonyHouse.com. Hey, for all you guys here, I want you guys to help me out to raise some money, man. I have a young lady, a five-year-old. Uh, we would need to raise $5,000 for her because she needs a kidney and the doctors refused to give her more medication because the, her medication ran out and her father and family is scrambling. Debbie Fernandez, I'm going to post it again. Please find your heart. Please donate. But there's a dollar, five dollars, two dollars. All of us come together and just a little bit, just like I'm eating this, banana, this, this apple. A little bit at a time, I eat the entire thing. Don't have to drink this water. Please find your heart to donate. Go to my site. See Anthony Harris at Facebook and donate whatever you can so we can help Debbie to get her kidney and she can stay alive while, while we're looking for a kidney. Okay, I want to say a big shout out, big shout out to, um, to uh, my, 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 my girl out in Brooklyn, New York, Miss Yvette Chester. Love you, love you, love you. Hey guys, be excited, be persistent in pursuing your, your, your dreams and let's knock doubt out of the way. Kick it out of the way. Slap it out of the way. Stand up to doubt. Face doubt. Okay, punch doubt. Knock it in the face. Write on a piece of paper. Burn it out. Let's get rid of that doubt. I believe in you because you got what it takes. You're a winner. You're a champion. You're the best of the best. If you're not buying, you're dying. Peace and blessings. Yes.